Good morning everyone, happy Monday. I look like a hot mess today and I am about to show you why. To 10 ducks and a dog, an oar. So now we're technically 13 ducks and two dogs, but that's okay. Um, we adopted her earlier this weekend. Not entirely on a whim, but yeah. So that's our big, big adventure and also why I look like I'm struggling today. I am. <laughs> um, Obviously, there's been a big adjustment in the schedules. Sorry, I'm trying to keep her away from the duck feed that got spilled on the floor yes, on the ground yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's been a big adjustment. Um, they play together a lot and it's super funny to me because she's like always running as fast. Go get him! Go get him! Oh, okay. We just want to be here. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry, he just ran into me. Um, he is always distinctly less fast than he can be, and she's like going as fast as she can. They roughhouse like that. So him sticking like her head in his mouth apparently is completely normal. Um, he has not broken any skin. We have broken up a few play times when they one or both start getting like super stressed out. Um, but yeah, they are. Zephyr seems so happy, like just more lively i think to me than he has since we got him like he loves being with us and he loves us um but there's just a new light in his eyes now that he's got a friend to play with on a regular basis so yeah that's one of our exciting new developments of the week um so very excitingly we have moved the ducks into their new coop obviously there's still a lot of work to be done so i won't give like a full like tour um, but we got enough up that they can be in there. Um, we obviously need to get the doors done, siding, um, insulation, etc. Hopefully you'll be able to see them in there. But, they're in there! They haven't, nope, they haven't quite figured out how to get out, or that they can come out yet. But that's okay, they will. Um, so yeah, they're in there. I am excited because I worry less about them not getting out on time. So they have plenty of space in there and then obviously food and water um don't worry that little hole there is covered and then yeah so it's exciting they'll get more more bedding as we finish up we just kind of moved them in on a whim um so yeah that's exciting go on baby wanda natasha there's bucky hope Sylvie, Dinah, Stormy, ha oh, Bruce, <laughs> Brunhilde, Yelena, Peaches, and Helena. But yeah, oh, also I was going to mention, I was kind of tossing around an idea. At some point I had started writing like one or two like children's stories about my ducks. Um, Things like Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood, but my ducks in the yard <laughs> um obviously completely safe so i was tossing around trying to find some sort of like story time tuesdays or something um if any of you have kids or grandkids or something that would enjoy hearing those stories and then i don't know somehow film the ducks involved i don't know i was kind of just been tossing around ideas so if you want me to like continue tossing that idea around let me know in the comments um, otherwise, oh, oh, one last thing, um, I hit 100 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for being here and for subscribing, um, super cool, and obviously huge shout out to my sister, Summer Tips and Stitches, um, for sharing my videos, um, and that's how I got to 100 subscribers, so woo, thank you guys so much. All right, now I'm signing off. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a good few days, folks.